Yo, what's up guys? I'm Dan from Serum School. I'm gonna teach you how I remade the Fuji opener bass drop. That drum synth is killer, man. I'm gonna teach y'all how I did this in Serum. But we're gonna get right into it. All right, guys, so we're gonna shape off the LFO one, just like this. We're gonna get four triangles, but you're gonna shape it like this. Turn the trigger on, turn down two bars. We're gonna go ahead and modulate the speed of it. Go in the matrix and we're going to throw LFO 2 onto LFO 1 rate. And we're going to make it go one way. It's one way. 37%. 37, yeah. Uh, we're going to throw this in LFO 1. And we're going to turn off the random, turn off the unison to 7, turn off the detune, turn the blend to like 58, turn off the phase, go ahead and FM it. At 43, and so we're gonna have this set at positive four semitones and this at positive 100 fine tune pitch. And we're gonna go ahead and go up open oscillator B. We're gonna throw a basic shapes, go ahead and throw basic shapes on oscillator A as well. I forgot to tell you that. Oscillator A, we're gonna choose a third form, the triangle form. And for this one, we're just gonna leave it on the sine wave. And we're gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and mess with the tune. I had this negative four, fine pitch was negative 100, and the unison was up eight. Had this down like at 15, the blend was around 58 as well. Turn off the random, had a remap three, it had it set like right here, shape it like this. And guys, the reason I did all this with the semitones is just to get the harmonic of a drum sound. So that's why I set negative four plus uh, four on both these oscillators. And so the next thing we have to do is, let's go ahead and shape the rate right quick. Trigger it and throw 16th rate. The reason I modulated the rate, because if you were to put this at eight sixteenth rate, it'll just sound too repetitive. If you modulate it like this, give it a little ramp. This is actually going to the 32 second rate. And it's actually like adding an extra note on purpose. It's like messing up, but it just adds to the snare roll or whatever type tom sound. So I left it like this. Let's go ahead and head and see how it sounds. Turn off volume of B. See here, right here, it just sounds it's the same. You turn it up. So we're gonna go ahead and mess with the envelope to get more of a pluck sound. So I let this at 39. And alpha one modulating it to right about there. The hold I had at 65. Had this going all the way down. The DK at 10 and the sustain at negative 34. I had this set right here, alpha one rate, turn on release. And basically this is what I had for the pluck, let's go ahead and listen to it. So he's just making the, the sound more tighter. It's basically, we're trying to get this sound of the triangle, not this. Next thing we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and throw a macro on both of the pitches. This pitch is gonna be going one way. It's gonna be negative 22. And this pitch is gonna be going both ways at negative eight. Turn this up 40%. Shape this LFO three like this. This is also for the pitch. Trigger it, throw it on, um, what are we throwing this on? I think I threw it on FM. I threw it on the FM like at three, 4%. Just a little tap on it. On the alpha one pitch, add this at, where did I have this at? Negative 18, just like that. Also had this on the remap all the way, 100%. Next thing is the filter. I use a all pass filter. Again, it adds to the harmonic, adds to the actual pluck. And I use the all pass, turn it on AB, the key. And we're gonna set it to like 750. 
Chuck's resonance, turn up the drive to like 20 something, 28. And the damp to like 40 something. And you can go ahead and get LFO 4, shape it like this, trigger it, eighth speed, throw it on the cutoff right about here. 16, let's see where I had it. Yeah, 16, 17. Go and throw it on the remap. This adds a lot of detail to the remap. And let's go and listen to it. So it's getting almost there. We're gonna add some effects to it. Let's go to the effects page. Open up the filters. We're gonna use a reverb filter. That's my favorite filter. Any of you who have bought Bad You, I use this in almost all my filter, all my presets. This is in the drive. I had it like at 34. In the mix, I had it down to like 40, 35%. Uh, next thing is the distortion. This adds a big part to the sound. This amplifies the pluck. We're gonna shape it like this on the B waveform right here, X shaper. Pre it, turn this down to like two or 148. This up to like two five. Turn this all the way up. Turn the drive all the way up. And next thing is the chorus. We're gonna turn this down, turn off the delay. The chorus is also adding to the plucking drum effect, so we're turning this up to like 50. To high pass filter, and we're gonna set this to 80 and throw LFO 1 on it, like around 4, like this. And the last thing I had was a compressor. The compressor was actually a big factor in this preset. I'm gonna use it in a way you're not supposed to, so I'm sorry for all the sound design professionals out there. Uh, I just did this my way just to achieve this sound. So we're gonna multi band it, sit at 43%, 44. And I had to gain up right about here, release all the way attack right here, the ratio all the way down, and I had this like a negative 11. Then I had alpha 1 on it, going down, negative 26, like that. You can go and throw an EQ if you want, like up here. The low pass side and go ahead and modulate it downward just like this let's go ahead and see how it sounds and that's basically it guys that's the whole thing to the sound the next thing i did if you're ableton user or pro tools fl go open your stock envelope plugin on logic i just took out the release turned down the gain on it i have three otts open they're set like this had a gain. And that's basically it guys. Let's go ahead and show how it sounds with the presets. And the one thing I did too, if I uh, took the sound, if you, if you listen to the sound, it's just like it's repeating every four bars. So I took it like this cut it down on the MIDI and I repeated it four times. If you stay for the whole video, I want you to give yourself a pat on the back and here's a free preset.